Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is put the roof on our second level of our Keystone Library and our green roof. So to do the regular roof, we're going to go to the roof level, and we're just going to select roof. Oh, go away. And we're going to come down here to the steel truss uh, roof right here. We're just going to edit it because we're going to delete this layer that we don't need. And so it's just going to be our metal decking with our insulation and our roof membrane that's sitting on top of those K trusses on that second floor. So it's pretty simple. We're just going to go up to the rectangle command and just draw a rectangle. Bing, bang, boom. Green check. Let's see how we did. All right, we got our roof right there, our regular one. So the green roof, you're going to have to make a custom roof. And to do that, the secret is you got to go to the second floor structure level that's in the structural plans right here. And to create this, we're going to use that roof that we just used, the basic roof. We're going to edit it, we're going to duplicate it, and we're going to just call it green roof with all this other fun stuff behind it. Green roof on. Okay, now we're going to edit this and we're going to add some things to it. Let's look at a picture here. We have, uh, you were supposed to do some research on your green roof section views and uh, really there's going to be two different types. The ones that are going to have kind of like your traditional uh, drainage layer of like stone or gravel or whatever. And then there's one with this egg cartons with the dirt above it. It depends on what you're going to be growing for uh, what you're going to need. So I wanted to have kind of shrubs and just plants on mine. I don't want to have any trees. If you want to have trees, you could look at this or whatever picture you found. So it said that I'm going to have four inches of drainage layer stone and then six inches of soil with this little felt layer in between the uh, catch the fine particulates that would uh, make its way down. So I'm not going to include this layer in my green roof because we'll show that on our section view. So we'll kind of remember this. So six inches soil, four inches uh, drainage. So let's insert a layer, move it all the way up to the top. I'm going to just use the finish two layer. It's going to make things easy that way. And there's no gravel in here or anything. So I'm going to create a new material. I'm going to call it gravel. Or I'll just call it drainage, better yet. We don't need to get too picky with it. I'm not going to see it, so I don't need to use my rendered appearance. And I'm just going to use some gravel. It's fine. You can use stone, whatever, if you want to argue about it. Um, apply. OK. And then our thickness, we said, was 4 inches. So I'm going to insert another layer. We're going to call it Finish 2 again. And this is just going to be dirt, so I could simply use earth. And our thickness for my shrubs is six. Whatever yours is, you could use. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to just use that simple rectangle tool again. I'm going to go down to the bottom right-hand corner. Green check. Let's see how we did. All right, so it's dirt. That's what we made it, right? So if I wanted to paint this with some grass, I could do that. So I'm going to go to the Manage tool. and First, I'm going to create a material of grass because I know it's not the f it's not in the library yet. Um, so I'm just going to call it grass, since it is grass. we we'll use rendered appearance cell for this one because we're going to see it. And then let's search for some grass. Uh, i just use this thick glass because, you know, that's what I'm doing. And then let's go to our paint tool in the modify toolbar. Paint, grass, bam. Now, people aren't going to want to walk onto the grass, and plus if you're going to have a playground area, you're going to have a path. So what we're going to do then is go to our, we're going to go to make a path on here. But what we need to do though is our, our this, the screen roof is pretty thick and I want everything to go on top. If I put it on the second floor structure, it's going to go inside my dirt and down. And I don't want to have to worry about offsets the whole time. So I'm going to create a new green roof layer to put everything on, our level I should say. So let's go to the north elevation. Let's hide a wall so I could see the top of my roof I just made. So there it is. There's the top of my green roof. And to do this, I'm going to come to Architecture tab. I'm going to go to Create New Level. And it doesn't allow you to click on that face. So let's make life easy. I want it all to line up. So I'm just going to put it right up here for now. I'm going to call this green roof. Oh. And then we're going to use our old friend, Mr. Align. And I'm going to align to the top, to the level. Let's lock it. And that's good. So now I should have a green roof level, and I do. So now if I go and I want to make a, f uh, a path, all right, I'm going to just use the floor command. 
and let's edit this type let's duplicate this I'm gonna call it path okay I'm gonna edit we don't want this metal decking on the bottom and the concrete is gonna be brick so let's just find some brick so I'm just use some common big four inches thick is what brick is so okay okay so you could kind of go in and you know you could make your path whatever shape your little heart desires using the line tool just for demonstration sake I'm gonna just make a quick rectangle to the front of the doors so you guys can play around with your shapes where it goes everything and when I check this and I go to look it's gonna kinda be in the grass because the faces are are flush with one another so I could take this and I could just put a small offset on this to raise it up a quarter inch or a half of an inch is perfectly fine and I raise it up and there's my brick so you kinda get the idea you can make any shape you want uh, you, if you wanted to have wood chips for a park or a different path or whatever, you could you could make that any shape that you want. But I'm noticing here, I got some problems. How the hell are my doors going to open? To further show you this, let's go to level two and let's put a little camera view, just looking out. And because I made that green roof, I actually you know it's pretty thick, and so now it, it's a different a different height. So what we need to do is select that curtain wall I made. And my base constraint is no longer level two. It is going to be the green roof level. And now we've created another problem. We solved one, but we created another. We have a rather large step going out of here. And like everything, it needs to be handicap accessible. So we can't just have one step going out. That would, that would be handicap accessible. So you could do a couple of things. You could put a ramp. You can put in uh, a ramp and a staircase. Uh, that's really what well, you, you have to have a ramp, though, to make it handicap accessible. So let's go to level two. All right, so here is my um, my doors, and they're opening in right now. If I wanted to flip out, I could. I still need to have some sort of landing right here just because um, it would go up. So let's look at let's look at that roof style. And if I looked at this, my green roof, how thick is it? It's one. Uh, one foot three inches. All right. So what I could do if I wanted to put a landing here for my ramp, I'm just gonna make. I have to hit escape because I'm in this roof command. All right. So let's go to floor. I'm just gonna make a concrete slab. Uh, it's six inches, and if I wanted to make it higher, I could edit this type, and I'm just gonna call it concrete slab for landing. For ramp dirt. And I'm just gonna delete this stuff, okay. And I could edit the thickness and we said it was one foot three, so seventeen and no fifteen. Okay, because now I could just make a simple landing right here. And I gotta make sure I click outside this wall. Alright, it's gotta be at least three feet. I'm gonna make it five. That seems nice to me. And I'm going to have my ramp come off this way because obviously I have the pole right here. If I wanted to, I could edit this and make it out further and have it go down. But I'm going to have my ramp go down into the middle. I don't know if I'm going to like that because I think it would be better to go this way. But I've kind of already set it up this way. So I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to do architecture, ramp, just like the stairs. Our base level is level 2. The top level is going to go up to the green roof. And I can make it as wide it needs to be at least four feet because that's what our, our code is for our, our egress, our, our, our exits. So I'm going to do, I'm going to make a, a six foot ramp. And see how I click and go up? It will create the ramp for me. I hit green check. And what I always like to do is use the align so I could align this to here, lock it on there. And then, you know, you could have made this as wide as this landing um, or whatever because now let's take a look and see how I did on this. There it is right there. And um, let's see what I did because it doesn't look quite right. Well, maybe it's just the angle I was looking at it. Oh, let's click on this. Oh, I put it on level two. Let's try second floor structure. It should have been on. No, nope, even worse. Let's try green roof. There we go. Third time's a charm, right? Uh, so there it is. It's going up to that. Obviously, 
someone who's in a wheelchair, they could fall off of this. So we don't want that to happen. So what we could do is just go to the architecture tab. We could throw some railings on there going around. Green check that. All right. We could go architecture again. Do the other side. Green check that. Looks like I missed one right down there. But you get the idea. Let's go to that last 3D view I made. And I got on the wrong level. So make sure everything goes on the right level. There we go. We go up there. And I got kind of an area. Raise this one up too. And oh yeah, I forgot a little piece. Whatever. But I got a ramp going up there, going out to my green roof. And on that green roof, you could kind of add whatever you want. You know, look at your project requirements. What is required up here? All right. I think we set a play space, a place to read. All right. You could add your plants, your shrubs, whatever.